What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something very quick and easy. We're going to be doing a rear seat modification that allows the back seat to actually fold down. So let's take a quick look and I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is working on this back seat. The back seat on most Ram crew cabs is stationary. So no matter how much you lift up and down the bottom seat, the back seat is always going to stay hooked to the back wall. So basically what we're going to do to fix that is there are two hooks on the back of here that we need to cut down shorter. And to access that, we're going to have to lift the seat as so and remove the two main bolts that bolt the seat to the actual floor. So there's one here, one towards the back. And on that side, there's one in the front and one in the back. Unbolt those four bolts first. Uh, I believe I'm just going to be using a 18 mil wrench. I'm pretty sure that'll fit. Yep, so that's it. So that's what I'll be using today there to unbolt those four bolts. Once we get this unbolted and lifted off, I'll show you what we have to do to those little brackets that are on the back of the seat. So let's jump into it. Okay, so we got the four bolts taken off on the bottom. All you have to do is lift the whole seat up and shift it forward, okay? Now there's gonna be a little metal peg here that's gonna stick down in this hole to hold the seat stationary. So just make sure when you unbolt the four bolts, you just lift the seat up and then shift it forward. And then that'll expose these two brackets I was telling you about. So all we have to do is take a little um, you know, hacksaw or maybe a, a grinding wheel and pretty much cut this little bit below the white plastic notch there, just that little bit right there, cut that off on both sides. Because what happens is this right here sits down like that, okay? But what happens when you lift the, the bench part up, it slides up to about here. But that little bit right here still stays hooked right there. And that's what stops the seat from moving forward. So if you notch that, then the, it'll sit like this in normal conditions. But once you lift the bottom seat up, it'll lift up just enough to where you can pull it forward and have access to any kind of room or storage back here, which I'm going to be probably doing some custom gun rack back here. Um, but for now, I just want to get the, the rear seat modification done. So let's jump into getting that little bit cut off on both sides and uh, we'll go from there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to notch this a little shorter and then if it needs notched a little bit more I'll come back and do it again but I'm going to start off with just about let's see if I can get a good angle here maybe up to about my top of my fingernail there I'm going to leave a little bit of that metal sticking below and see how much I actually need to notch off but I'm going to take at least about that much off first so let's go ahead and get that going Okay, so I went ahead and notched about that much off. So if you could take a closer look, I notched off a, a little bit and I'm gonna see if this works. So I'm gonna notch off about the same on both sides, hook up the seat, see if it works, and then we'll come back and see where it comes in at. Okay, we're back. So after a couple of different tries of figuring out how much I needed to cut off, uh, I did basically cut to the bottom of that white clip that sat like right here. Okay, there's this white clip that was right there. What I did was I cut the metal to the bottom of the white clip and then I just cut this little top plastic piece off. Okay, and just left it like that. So again, there's a white clip sitting right here. And then the metal part stuck out past that where my thumb is. Cut that metal part up to the bottom of the white plastic clip like that and then just notch this plastic clip off. And you'll be good to go. And this is how it works. So after you bolt everything back down, this bracket right here, still slips over that notch. So you're still gonna have complete security and safety with this seat modification. So here's what you're gonna do. I notch it on both sides. All you're gonna do, slide your seat all the way back, lift the bottom seat up about three quarters of the way and you'll see it lifts the back seat up and then it drops down and watch. Hear that little thump? 
Drop your seat, locked in. See? Perfectly stationary. It's not gonna affect your seat belts. It's not gonna affect car seats or anything like that. So perfectly stationary, it's not going to move. And then when you wanna open it back up, you lift the seat up, the, the back lifts up enough. It lifts up just enough, about the three quarter lift about because if you go all the way up it already start the back seats already starts to drop down so you want to make sure you lift the back seat up about three quarters of the way and that'll allow the height of the backrest to go up just enough to unlatch and drop down and now you have access to all this room back here that you could do whatever you want with so again simple and easy push it back drop it back drop the seat done now i'm not 100 percent sure if this modification will work for all years of ram crew cabs or quad cabs with a rear seat bench seat like this um, so what i would recommend is if you have a ram crew cab and you want to try this modification unbolt your back seat lift it up so that it unlatches for those brackets and see if your brackets look like this if they look like this this modification should work for you and just to kind of give you an idea how much is left Here's a measuring tape. So I'll clip, I'll clip it there, and then you get an idea of how much is left. So I'd say, I'm trying to do this while holding a camera, I'd say about one and a half from the bottom here to the bottom of the bend right there. So I'll put the measuring tape up again so you can see it. Then you can kind of see what you think, but I'd say it's about one and a half right to the inside bend right there so hopefully that helps you guys out but this is an awesome modification if you want to start getting into any kind of um, customization behind the seat maybe you want to put some amps for your car stereo back here maybe you want to do some gun racks which is what i i hope to plan to do here is a custom gun rack here um, but still if you want access to this area this is a very easy mod and it doesn't take long i'd say i had it done in probably 15 minutes done can't beat it and there you go so that's it guys hope you like this video again this was a very simple quick and easy modification but it has a great benefit because it allows you access to the area behind your rear bench seat of your crew cab ram so again if you're doing car stereos and you want a place to hide your amplifiers or if you're going to do a gun rack or you want some extra space to put your tools Either way, this is a quick and easy modification that works. And if you have any questions, let me know. But as always, if you could do me a favor, like this video, hit that thumbs up button, leave me a comment, let me know what you like, let me know what you don't like. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Please do me a favor, subscribe to the channel as it greatly helps me out. So that's it. I really just wanna say thank you to all of you. And as always, see you in the next video.